just realizing what a mess my room is when you put it on camera it does show the problems <laughs> oh right right hey guys welcome to another video i thought i would start this one off a little bit differently today i don't know whether my face is too bright actually can we turn this on me What? Too dark? Okay, we'll leave it there. Um, yes, hello. Uh, yes, yeah, so I thought I'd start this video off a little bit differently today and show you me. <laughs> um, I just want to inject a little bit more of myself into this channel and I suppose this is the way I can do it by saying hello. Uh, I don't really like being on camera very much, it's a little bit stressful. I've sent my husband, well I haven't sent my husband off to work, he has gone to work today so I thought I would take the opportunity to show myself on camera and say hello and also do my voiceover for this new video which will be a black cat on black paper i'll show you it here before we get started and i also want to show you a little bit more of my other art i've been working on as well so the way i've been doing this channel is i've just been turning the camera on every single time i draw well mostly every single time and then um every time i draw or paint and then i will then do a voiceover for those videos um so I've got so much more art that I haven't shared yet and i actually done this black cat drawing with coloured pencils like over a month ago now. Here it is. Can't see it that well because the shine. It's the only thing I don't like about coloured pencils is the shine. Uh, but yeah, so if you've got some coloured pencils and some black paper, it's such a fun little thing to do. I think uh, I think I think you'll probably like it if you clicked on this video and you also might be like what what is going on here? Uh, but that's fine too. Spontaneous. Spontaneity is not a word. Um, but yeah, so I guess what else should I show you while I'm here? I'm not normally this um, hectic of a person <laughs> but uh, I have been playing with some gouache the past few days and I've been doing these little studies in my sketchbook um, this one as well and these four are all going to be videos so well I think yeah they will be yeah I did record them all um, so I'm really excited to just my little sketchbook here that I've been playing with this sketchbook the art creation sketchbook by Talons or Royal Talons. Um, you're going to be seeing a lot of this in the future from me because it's just the best sketchbook I've ever used. I absolutely love it. Anyways, we'll get to the video, shall we? Uh, as you can see, I've literally just had a wash today. I'm, I've put my old crinkly, old faithful t-shirt on and we're just going to have a studio day. So if you have got a sketchbook or some art that you're working on i hope you get it out grab yourselves a cup of tea i've got uh my favorite mint tea right now and i'm going to drink that and i'm going to finish the rest of this voiceover and i hope you enjoy it bye so hello <laughs> here i am again as voiceover amber and um in that beginning bit i did just forget to say thank you thank you thank you for clicking on this video i'm really glad to have you here so as i said in this one i'll be showing you how you can create a really really simple cat drawing or any silhouette drawing really um, on black paper with colored pencils so i'm just starting off here by tracing my outline um, I turn the lights off and I'm just using, I couldn't find any tracing paper so I'm using drafting film to get my tracing down really. I probably could have drew or drawed, drew, drew this, drew the right word. 
I probably could have done this myself, but um, at the time I couldn't be bothered and I just fancy tracing and doing some colouring as this was supposed to be for just this little tutorial really, so I didn't think too much about it. My reference photo for this drawing is from Unsplash, which is a royalty free reference, well, royalty free photo website and you can download it for yourself. So I'll leave the link in the description. Um, there is a few different cat silhouette um, sort of reference photos on there and also lots of other animals as well. I saw a really nice one of some drafts that I'd like to do, but um, like I said, I, I don't know if I did say actually, but this is just the, the simplest thing you could do with colored pencils and so so quick so if you just fancy like practicing some blending or trying some black paper out and just having a bit of relaxing blending fun this is like the om project for that in my last video i drew some bubbles on black paper as well with colored pencils and i'll link that in a little card up above there for you if you'd like to go and watch that if you haven't already but um yeah that was really really fun so straight away i wanted to do another project on this black paper and i'm just using the trace down graphite paper and i'm not sure what this little tool is actually called apart from an indenter tool i call it an indenter <laughs> But uh, yeah, you, you can see what that is. And um, I did try and do this tracing with pencil on top of that drafting film, but it, I couldn't push hard enough really. So that's why the indenter tool was a good one to use. The graphite, nope, the drafting film is quite thick. So it's not really ideal to do this, but as I said, I just couldn't find my tracing paper. And that's the only thing that I had to hand that was somewhat see-through. How are you guys anyways? Um, I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments how you are because uh, I'm just feeling really good and really excited and very inspired creatively at the moment. So um, it's, it's just really nice to connect with you on the comments and stuff. So yeah, don't be shy. And also don't forget to like and subscribe. That would be nice too. For this drawing, I am using my Derwent Chromaflow pencils. I have the set of 24 and I said in my last video, I absolutely love them. The paper I'm using is the Strathmore Art Again black paper and I also absolutely love that. So a great combo, um, but you can pretty much use any black paper, any colored pencils. It really doesn't matter. This is all just for fun. And as I said, a lovely little relaxing blending exercise it's fun just to learn how to blend your colors really nicely and smoothly together and um, I've picked up a lot of bad habits over the years with colored pencils so this was a, a down a bring me back down to earth moment for sure this little picture didn't really take too long probably about an hour to do but um, I've obviously sped this up quite a lot um, but yeah I'm sure you can see that I'm using like the little scumbling motions for uh, colored pencils. If you've got any idea about colored pencil techniques, scumbling is just pretty much, let me, let me, let me slow this down and I'll show you. There we go. So as I've slowed this down, I've, I've just realized that my scumbling technique is very lazy. As I just said, I have picked up a lot of bad habits with colored pencils over the years, um, but what scumbling is actually supposed to be is a color pencil technique where you use a nice sharp pencil and really, really small circular motions um, overlapping to create a really smooth application. And it helps with not seeing like visible pencil strokes, if you know what I mean. So it takes a long time and you have to work in really light layers and really, really slowly to get a nice blended even look. So that's what I'm going for here. <laughs> What I used to do with colored pencils is blend them out after I've done a few layers with the odorless mineral spirit. So you could use like um, Gamsol or Zestit pencil blend to blend your layers out and then you don't have to actually be so precise and, um, you know, <sighs> God, I can't talk today. I feel like I need to warm my um, warm my mouth up. <laughs> um, so thoughtful. You don't have to be so thoughtful about your pencil strokes. That's what I'm trying to say. 
but when you use odorless mineral spirits to blend your pencils out then you do lose that like grainy pencil look and I actually really wanted that with this picture. I, I like texture. I love texture with whatever medium I'm using and um, this is no different so I wanted to use sharp pencils but just layer and layer and layer and just see what look I got. So you really don't have to use many colours for this at all. Obviously if you want a nice blended scene then you don't want to use too many colours anyways because you want them all to blend nicely together and I think honestly I only used about six or seven colours maybe for this um, and I'm still just building layer after layer after layer. And I'm going to go around the edges now with my black and also the dark reddish sort of colour I've got there, well, like a dark pink colour, um, just to blend the edges of the, well, the background in with the black bit. And I've slowed this down again now so you can sort of see just the movements that I'm making with the pencil and here's a good tip I'm always always twisting my pencil I remember hearing this on YouTube years ago and I have just never stopped doing it I even accidentally do it with my paint brushes now without even thinking um, yeah so if you want to keep like a nice sharp pencil and you don't want to have to keep sharpening it every five seconds then just keep twisting your pencil um, you forget at first but it soon becomes quite a habit and it's a really good tip to have to well save time save pencil it's a good it's a good tip something I noticed while I was trying to blend in the background a little bit with that black bit at the bottom was you can see on the on the screen that the indentation what I did when I transferred the um, the tracing onto onto it has indented <laughs> has indented the paper so much that um, it was hard to then go and cover up with the pencil so I had to do quite a lot of layers over that to get it to look okay but um, yeah that's another thing to remember and I just loved how this started looking when I was putting in the branches and that I think it's like such a good Halloween-y um, drawing so much fun and so so simple if you want an artwork that you haven't really got to think about much then do one of these silhouettes you can see here I'm just trying to blend that bottom bit in as much as I can Another good little tip for if you are going to draw your own silhouette drawing, whether it's from an actual silhouette photograph or just your own photograph that you want to turn into like this kind of silhouette drawing, is always do your colours lighter around the actual subject. So for my case here, the cat around the cat's head is lighter. So it's got more white and then it's blending into the darker colours around the edges. And that just brings the focus and attention to your subject. I know that might seem quite obvious to some maybe but um, it's just a good thing to know for if you're going to turn your own photos into a, silhou sil a silhouette, a silhouette drawing then um, as long as you follow sort of that guideline um, you, you, you will come up with something pretty good at the end I reckon. So I'm just adding in a little bit more of that white there just around the cat's head because I want that to be the real focal point. Um, and now I've put these little whiskers in as well. I uh, yeah, I really like it. It's so cute. It's always good when you don't spend much time on art, but you end up with something quite good out of it at the end. Like even if you've only got an hour to spend, you can always create something fun, you know. I really do like to work small, um, especially with coloured pencils because they are a very tedious and time consuming medium and I used to love that about them but not so much anymore so I like to work small and I wanted there to be like a little border around the edge of my cat here so I thought I'd just go around the washi tape otherwise it would look like too much black around the edge so and you'll see now it's time for the most satisfying part of the video I'm going to shut up for this bit 
I'm not actually going to shut up, am I? <laughs> I'm normally watching telly when I'm doing my art, so I always have to mute the actual clips. Um, perhaps I should start using my headphones so you can actually hear these satisfying moments. Always learning with YouTube, always learning what's better, what works, what doesn't. Um, and yeah, I'm just so glad to have you guys here and I hope you enjoyed this video. So this is pretty much the end and yeah hope you enjoyed it and i'd love to see if you did one of these silhouette drawings for yourself um, if you are on instagram i will leave mine in the description so you can tag me in your own art and i can have a little nosy because i am a i am a little nosy um, anyways i'll see you in the next one guys thank you so much don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment with all your feelings okay bye